Okay, this is our throwing warm-up drill. Go through a few different drills that we use to warm up the quarterbacks. Um, this is done generally uh, pre-practice while the rest of the team may be doing specialists or, or, or other things like that. Okay, we start with uh, throwing on both knees. We go four throws with each. We want to emphasize accuracy. Okay, we want to emphasize shoulder turn, getting the opposite shoulder. So in this case, the left shoulder pointing at our target, and then finishing with our right shoulder pointing at the target. All right, and we want to focus on how many revolutions we can get with the ball. Okay, we don't care how hard we're throwing right now. We're just warming up. We care about. We want to be accurate all the time. So in this case, we talk about aiming at right there we want to hit the face mask there's a good throw right there okay we want to hit the face mask and we want to make the ball spin the left shoulder right shoulder the other thing we want to do is we want to finish okay, either right down the crotch or in the opposite hip we don't want to finish all the way at the ground and okay, we want to finish opposite hip right like that or down the crotch okay, here's another look at it Okay, right on, you can see the finish through the hip. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Next we go right knee. Okay, so now our right knee's up, the second drill we go to, same type of thing, we want left shoulder, right shoulder. We want to finish at the opposite hip. We want to hit the guy in the face mask. Okay, nice easy throws, still warming up our arms. This also helps us to warm up our hips. Next, we're going to go left, uh, left leg up, okay? Same type of drill. Okay. Should be a little bit easier throw than the last one. We're going four throws of each. Again, accuracy hitting us right in the face mask. So after we get our knee throws, we got our two knees, our right knee up, and then our left knee up. Now we go feet on the... Uh, feet parallel here. You'll see we want to have nice ankle flexion, knee flexion, and hips. We don't want to be standing straight up and down. Okay. Well, again, we want to point our left shoulder right there. and okay. We want to have a tight off hand. Helps have a tight release. And then we want to point our right shoulder at our target. Finish through with the opposite hip or right down the crotch. We want two hands back one hand out, two hands back, one hand out. We, again, we want to focus on revolutions with the ball, not necessarily the speed of the throw. Okay, here we go, now we're going to go after we get four throws of feet parallel. We want feet perpendicular with the throwing arm, so in this case the right foot is up. Okay. So now this one really helps us loosen up our hips and our back. All right. Again, we want to hit the guy in the face mask, so this one's a little low. Okay. We want to point that left shoulder and then point the right shoulder. Point and point. Now on this one, a lot of guys will have a tendency, okay, they'll really be standing straight up and down. You still want to have some flexion, all right? You can see there, he, he's got some bend in his knees. That's important. Again, four throws on each of those. Okay, here's another angle of this, okay? Just get a little bit tighter angle. You can really see him really pointing that left shoulder at it and then following through with the right shoulder there. And now we're going to go to a four to six inch step. Okay, So you can see you, you want to step about four to, you want to be lined up about four to six inches behind the line. Okay, You want that lead step okay, to step right on the line. You want to step just past your target with the toe just slightly open. Okay, and Then you want to finish with the back foot also on the line. So you're in a nice balanced position right there. Okay, again, following through the opposite hip, again, trying to hit him in the face mask. You see here, kind of fall off our throw right there, and sometimes that can be hard to replicate. Okay, so we don't want to fall off our throw, we want to get that foot right back down on the line. So four to six inch step, that step can vary based on how wide your initial uh, alignment is. Now right here we're a little too straight up and down. You can see him actually sink to get in a nice position, but he's a little too straight up and down to start that part of the drill. 
in four throws a piece on this. You can vary it on where you're aiming by having different hand placement. You can have him move his hands around and try to hit the hands instead of always hitting the face mask. Here's a tighter look at it up top, okay? We want a nice tight release. We don't want it, we don't want, the shorter we can make the release, the better, okay? It makes it quicker, makes it easier to duplicate all the time, which really helps accuracy. You can see how he's nice and balanced. Again, we're not trying to fire the ball. This is still a warm-up drill. I want to really focus on accuracy. Next, we're going to get a little throwing on the run. So we're going to run forward and backward. Okay, It's really going to emphasize going at your target on the run. You can get a lot of throws quickly. Again, we want to go four and four. You want to throw going forward, and then you want to backpedal out of it as soon as you catch it. Again, we want to make sure that we get the left shoulder pointed at our target. You want to keep it parallel to the ground. You can kind of see number four over there. His left shoulder is too high, which then makes him really force it back down. So you want to keep it parallel, okay, and come on through. Again, accuracy is going to be a key here. This throws too low, and okay, we want to hit our target right in the face mask again or, or right in between the numbers, depending on where the target is for that drill. Okay, here's another look at this drill. Let's see, just focused on, on the one guy here coming through, okay. We want to make sure we're coming right at our target and we don't want to fall off okay, and be off balance. This is, again, we want to come right downhill at our target. Next, we've got hot throws. Really want to concentrate here. We're trying to take a drop. They catch us off guard. They make us hot. We want to try to get stop our momentum by getting up in the air a little bit there. Okay, Throw over the blitzer or over the uh, lineman to our hot throw. And that one's a little low. You want to still hit him in the face mask, okay? You're going to come down on the throw a little bit, but you want to still hit him in the face mask. You can change which way you throw it, whether you're throwing out. There's a nice throw right there. Whether you're throwing it like it's an outbreaking hot route or an in-breaking hot route. Okay, but this one's to the right. You want to do three to the right. You want to do three to the left. Here's another look at this. If you can set up, obviously that's good. This is, this is actually emphasizing not being able to set up. The guy's coming free, okay, through an A or a B gap. Getting up allows us to stop our momentum a little bit better, all right, and lets us make an accurate throw there over the blitzer. Here's a look at it going left. You really got to get the left shoulder open to make this throw. Here's a nice accurate throw. Again, we're still warming up. We're not totally warm. You want a nice tight release. He's throwing the inside hot route right there. Opening up that shoulder and getting away from the pressure. Okay, one of the last things we do, we, we do a little throwing on the run. Okay, just like a little five yard out. Want that first step to be back. We'd love to push off a little bit more. Okay. We're just trying to make a nice, accurate throw. Okay, you'd like to see him get a little bit more, his hips a little bit more downhill at his target. Here's another look at it. You can see after he throws, he realizes he should be coming downhill at his target. Okay, you want his hips and his shoulders to be coming right where he wants to throw it. Not where the guy is, but right where he wants to throw it, which is obviously in front of him here. And then we do it from the gun as well. When you do it on the gun, we try to get this thing out. We would love to get it out by his third step. All right here he does it on his fifth. We want to keep pushing and see if we can get that thing out on his third step. You can see him coming back downhill a lot better here from the gun than he did from under center. We have one lefty here, so he's really got to get his hips turned. You can see how He's got to really work to get his hips turned going. 
and he, he does a nice job at it because we, we usually just go right. He does a nice job of getting his hips turned and getting his right shoulder pointed right at where he wants to throw and then being able to follow through right at his target. Okay, we finish our, we finish our uh, throwing warm up going at a net. We really want this to be a competitive drill. Okay, you're going to get two throws at each spot. So we throw from the numbers, we throw in between the numbers and the hash, we throw from the hash, in between the two hashes, and so on and so forth. Okay, you get two throws from each spot. Once you miss both, you're out, and that's where you went for the day. And we really want to compete and see who can get farther each day. Okay, so this just show you, you know, you take a three-step drop, hit and throw on the first one. All the rest of them are three hitch and throw. So here's the three hitch and throw. Okay, we're aiming for that center one. We want to end up on the hash so he can start in front of it a little bit, hitch up. Okay, so there's one of his misses. Now he'll go again. He hits it. Now one thing you want to see, you really want to see, you can see a couple things, especially if you tape it from this angle. Right here, what I would talk to this player about is his left foot is really closed, which is really hampering his hips from getting through and being able to use all of his hips. He's also overstriding a little bit. Okay, that's more than a four to six inch uh, step right there. And so everybody will go. You'll go until you're done. Okay, and we really make this a competitive drill. We want to know who's got the farthest every day. Everybody else will do push-ups. All right, we'll do 10 push-ups and they lose. 